in last video we had seen the amplitude modulations and the equation involved in the amplitude modulation in amplitude modulation the amplitude of the carrier signal varied according to the amplitude of the message signal we had seen the fourier analysis of this modulated signal also using fourier series we can fourier transform we can find out the frequency spectrum or the power spectral density on which on x-axis we are having frequency and on y-axis we are having the magnitudes so we will implement these things into a lab view software in lab view software this is a front panel window where we'll going to design the graphical user interface in which we are having only input and the output terminals and the logic running behind this input and output terminal is implemented into a programming environment which is known as the block diagram if you consider our case in which we are having graphs as the output terminals so i will insert a graph to display the waveforms which are nothing but message wave carrier wave modulated signal and the power spectral density so these are uh, the output terminals similarly we will have some input terminals also like amplitude of the message amplitude of the carriers modulation index and the frequencies so i will insert this graph into our gui so this is graph used for plotting the message signal similarly we have we require another graph to plot a carrier so we'll take another graph to plot a modulated signal and one more to display the power spectral density of the modulated signal so these four are the output terminals similarly we we require some input terminals which are nothing but more which are used to input the amplitude of the message signal as well as the amplitude of the carrier signals so we'll input it using these input terminals i'll use two slider to vary the frequency of the carrier and the frequency of the message signal So these two slider are used to vary the frequencies. I am setting my frequency range from 0 to 1000 for carrier also and for message also. I will rearrange these terminals so we can use it properly. We require one more terminal input terminal or input slider to vary the modulation index which is in between 0 to 2 so this is not this is used to vary the modulation index so this is as far as gui is concerned where we have inserted input and output terminals now we will quickly move towards the programming environment so in this programming environment the terminal correspond to each gui input terminal is available so using this terminal we can get the information from the gui so i'll slightly rearrange it now i will insert a block which generate our carrier and the message signal which are which is the simulate signal block available in a lab view software this block is capable of generating a signal of type sine wave square wave triangular wave and the sawtooth wave also so input to these blocks are nothing but the frequency and the amplitude so i will connect frequency block of our gui to this this signal generation block i will take another block to generate a message signal also so this message frequency is connected to the frequency terminal of this block as well as the amplitude also so carrier signal is available at this point so i will connect that carrier signal to the graph so it will display on the graph similarly for the message signal also 
fine now i'm going to implement the equation for the amplitude modulation so amplitude modulation equation is equal to 1 plus k a m t whole into c t so where k m t is nothing but the masses signal and the c t is nothing but the carrier signal so i'll take this multiplication and the addition operator over here so this modulation index that is k a gets multiplied with a masses signal then it will get added with some dc shift which is nothing but the one in amplitude modulation case then this one plus k a m t gets multiplied with a carrier so this carrier is available over here so we can quickly switch towards the gi environment where we will simulate this program so i will set this am is equal to 1 ac is equal to 1 k is equal to some value fc is equal to some 800 and ct is equal to some 200 So this is the carrier signal, this is the masses signal and this is the modulated signal. I will make this Ka is equal to 1. So we will get a perfect modulation. If you make this Ka greater than 1, then we will get a over modulation which is seen over here. Because of this over modulation, we will get aliasing aliasing effect so we cannot reconstruct masses signal from this modulated signal at the receiver side so this ka should be less than one if it is perfectly equal to one then we will say that our signal is perfectly modulated if it is less than one then under modulated signal now we will quickly implement the power spectral density block so to do that i will stop the execution of the program and quickly switch to the programming environment so in which i will insert the spectral block which allows us to cal uh, which returns a frequency spectrum of the input signal so these blocks simply calculate the FFT of the modulated signal and returns us a frequency and the magnitude information so which is available over here that I will give to the graph so this will take time domain signal as the input and returns the output into a frequency domains on x-axis we will have frequency and on y-axis we will having the magnitude so on frequency axis we can observe the upper sideband frequencies carrier and the lower sideband frequencies so to run this we'll quickly switch to the our gui environment and i'll run this program so here you can observe that our carrier frequency is 800 so i'll make it 800 and masses frequency is equal to 200 and I will limit the scale some value 1500 so we can observe it so I'll make it some 1000 then 400 or I'll make it 200 so or 250 so we are getting 750 as a lower sideband frequency and the 1250 as the upper sideband frequencies as the modulation index increases the power of upper sideband frequencies and lower sideband frequency will get increase but k greater than will get a over modulation so k should be less than one so this is the power spectral density of the modulated signal now we will change the type of the carrier so i'll make square wave as the carrier and we'll uh, observe the output waveform so 
so I will reduce the carrier frequency so we can observe that square wave so this is the square wave so I will make it 800 now I will reduce this frequency I will add just slightly you can observe over here the amplitude of the sinusoidal carrier uh, sinusoidal masses signal over here so square wave is a carrier whose amplitude is varied according to the masses signal so I'll make it thousand so there are two frequencies so we can use any wave as a carrier now I will make sine wave as a carrier and the square wave as the masses signal and let us observe the output so here masses signal is a square wave so amplitude of this carrier is varied according to the masses signal and the square wave is made up of sine wave with multiple harmonics that is visible over here Thank you so much for watching this video.